Hey, all you cool cats. Thank you for joining me today because we are going to be making these. Yay! We're going to be making these today out of toilet paper rolls and paper plates. And there's also a few other supplies that you're going to need. So go ahead and gather these up. So the first thing, of course, is you will need your empty paper toilet paper roll. You will also need a paper plate. You will need glue or a glue stick will work for this. You will need some scissors and some, oh, let me get it, tape, and then some markers. Now, for markers, you may use Crayola if that's all you have um, or any kind of um, non-permanent marker that you have, but permanent markers are the best. They're gonna work the best for this Sharpies. So if you have any, then go ahead and get those out. Also, I have a star next to paint because you don't have to have paint for this project, but it does make it a lot better if you can paint these um, cats, their bodies and their heads first, and then go ahead and decorate on top. So if you have paint, gather that, gather a paintbrush so that you can use that. And last but not least, you will need some white paper to make the eyes and the ears for these cats. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna get started making these together. The first thing we're gonna do is make the cone out of the paper plate. So if you'll take your paper plate and if you'll fold it in half, that's gonna be the first step in this project. So go ahead and fold, fold that, there we go. Now we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut the paper plate in half on that line from our fold. Okay, now with that half, we're gonna go ahead and fold inward. So we're gonna hold the center of the paper plate and then we're just gonna take this right side and just fold in towards the center where your thumb should be about, okay? Just keep folding, folding. There we go, and you'll see that it makes the shape of a cone. You might need to play with it a little bit just to get the right shape. And once it's right, you can go ahead and Grab your tape and we're gonna secure it with the tape here. All right, I'm gonna put one more piece just to make sure we're nice and secure here. All right, so there we have our cone, wonderful. Now, next we're going to put a hole in the top of the cat or the head so that we can put the cone through it. So. If you press down and kind of fold your paper, toilet paper roll in half, you can make a small little cut, just big enough to fit your scissors in, okay? And then we're going to put our scissors through that cut, and then we're gonna cut horizontally about an inch or an inch and a half, okay? So cut that way to the right, and then you can cut the other way. I'll get that in there, to the left. And this will provide a hole for us to stick the head into the body, here we go. So let's push it right through there and secure it. Now you can, it'll stay on without that, but it's a little wobbly. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and tape the back of the head to make sure it stays in place. Okay, so let's get some more tape, pretty good size. Let's turn it around to the back and we'll tape it right there. So we're making sure it stays in place. Now, you know what? See this fold? I don't want that to show in the front of the body. So actually, I'm gonna switch it around. There we go. Try to keep that tape and that fold from the cone in the back. All right, so now we have our, whoopsie. <laughs> now we have, I need that tape rolling up here. Now we have our body and our head to our cat. And the next thing we're gonna do is make its face. Now go ahead and grab while I'm securing this again because I didn't get the tape on there well enough. There we go, sorry about that. So let's go ahead and get our black permanent marker. Or if you don't have a black permanent marker, you can just use a regular Crayola marker. This shows up a little better. So we're gonna go ahead and do a triangle for its nose towards the top. I would say three fourths of the way up, okay? And then we're gonna draw the bottom of the triangle facing down, of course, color that in. All right. Now, once we have that in there, we're gonna make the left side of his mouth and the right side of his mouth. Now, you can do like me, I made mine a little silly and I have their, if you can see here, I've had their tongue sticking out. So, if you wanna do that, I didn't bring my red marker over here, but you can just take it, 
and make a little tongue right there if you want to. Now for its whiskers, I did mine a little bit silly, just kind of did a squiggly line so you can do yours however you want to. Oh, let's first make these dots right here next to his nose. All right. So woo, there we go. Make some squiggly whiskers. However you want to make yours, they can just be all over the place. There's my whiskers. All right, now let's do the eyes here. Now, I went ahead and sketched mine out with pencil and you should do the same before you cut, but I'm gonna trace it a marker just so you can see the shape right now. Um, I'm only gonna do one at a time because I wanna make sure both of my eyes are the same size. So I'm gonna do one eye, cut it out, and use it as a template for the next one. So just to give you an idea, this is about hmm, an inch, well, a little bit, an inch and a quarter wide for this eye, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. All right, and I'm gonna use it again to make the next eye. All right, so now we have our eyes here. I wanna show you how we're going to make them, the shape of the, um, how we're gonna color them in. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the eyelid on the top. Just take your black marker and color a thick line. It doesn't even have to be straight and perfect. It can just be like that, okay? And once we get that eyelid finished there, we're gonna make the oval shape for its eye, okay? And we're gonna put two circles because we wanna put the highlights of its eye inside. So we're gonna make one here and a slightly smaller one here. All right, so let's go ahead and color that in. Okay. Do the next one. Again, an oval shape. We're gonna draw the highlights here, one big one. One a little bit smaller. Now my marker kind of bleeds so you can see that bottom hole or that bottom circle kind of already closed up because my marker is bleeding a little bit, but okay. So then we're gonna take our glue stick and we're gonna go ahead and glue, or if you just have regular glue, that's fine too. We're gonna glue these eyes on. Here's one. All right, and let's do the next one. Just right on each side of its nose. It's already looking so cute. Okay, so let's talk about the ears now. I've already, again, used my pencil to make a, a very tall but narrow triangle here. So let me go ahead and outline it in black so you can see it better on the video. So I'm gonna cut this one out first so that I can use it to make the other ear so that we make sure we have the same size for both ears. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it, move it over, and I'm gonna use that as an example for my next. Okay, so now you can take your ears and you can design them however you want. Obviously, I still have that black line there showing so that you can see it, but um, you're gonna make these look the same or you can make them look different. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna color inside of my ear. I'm gonna make one triangle. I'm gonna color that one in with blue. And then I'm gonna use, mm, I like teal. Oh no, my teal is running out of ink. So I'm gonna go ahead and color that in, trying to color all in the same direction as best as I can. Oh, I'm sad about my teal, teal marker. Okay, so that was a real quick job, but we're going to stick these on the back, but as you can see, we can't just put them on there and expect them to stay. We have to create a foot for our ear, so by the way we do that is by taking the bottom and folding it up, just make a little bit of a crease there. And now we have a foot 
or a stand for the ear. So then we can go ahead and take that, put some glue on that part. There we go. We'll go ahead and do the other one even though I haven't colored it. Again, we're just folding it up, gluing it. We're gonna stick it right on there. <laughs> Looks a little silly with two different ears, but that could be fun. All right, so now let's talk about how we can decorate its body. Now, if you paint yours like I painted mine, you can take a Sharpie marker and put designs on them. Or for this one, because it's a dark color, I had to actually, I painted it all purple and actually painted on top of it. But if you're not gonna paint, you can just use regular markers and make your own design. I did circles. Here I am using that teal marker that doesn't work. Let me get another one. Um, you can use regular old markers and you can put designs all around it. I like circles, but you can do zigzags or swirly lines or whatever you like to do. Okay, so I'm just taking a few different colors. You can use all the colors that you want or you can stick to a certain color scheme, okay? As you can see, As you can see with mine, I did one primary color cool cat, right? With yellow, red, and blue. And then I did a secondary color cool cat with purple, green, and orange. But you are welcome to do whatever you want. All right, guys, so hopefully I explained this well enough and you're able to do this at home with your family. Have a lots of fun and I can't wait to see your perfect cats. You can send them to me on Dojo if you'd like. I would love to see them. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.